If you want to learn how to embed your Trustpilot reviews on your WordPress website in fast and responsive feeds like this, you've clicked on the right video. In this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Then click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, just like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. And on the left hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Click on that, and inside the plugin, the first thing you'll have to do is activate the license key. Paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account, like this, and click Activate. And now our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our Trustpilot Reviews Feed. To get started, click Add New at the top, and for the first step, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click on Add Source, and this will show you all the possible sources you can use with Reviews Feed Pro. You can create and embed reviews feeds from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. For this tutorial, we want to show you how to display your Trustpilot reviews. So we can select Trustpilot and click Next. And for step number two, we'll have to add the URL for the page where we want to get our reviews from. For this tutorial, we're going to display reviews from the Home Zone Furniture page on Trustpilot. This business has over 24,000 reviews and an average rating of 4.9. To add this Trustpilot page as a source, just go ahead and copy the URL. And back inside the plugin, you can paste it inside the text box here. Once that's done, click Finish. Now you should see the Trustpilot page you added as a source. We have Home Zone Furniture here and it's already selected for us. So we can click Next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our reviews feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it on default. It's already selected for us, so we can click Next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of your new Trustpilot reviews feed. This feed is currently displaying all the latest reviews from the Trustpilot page for Home Zone Furniture. It's now ready to be embedded on your WordPress web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your feed. At the top, you can see that we currently have the list layout selected, which displays your reviews in the single column list. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through the reviews on your feed like this. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it on the list layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many reviews you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we're only displaying four reviews, but if you wanted to change that, you can simply enter the number of reviews you want to display. For instance, if I wanted to display six reviews instead, I can type in six, and that change will be made instantly inside the live preview, displaying six reviews inside the feed instead of four. For this demonstration, I'll change that back to four. And if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. And at the top of your feed, you'll notice that we have a header. To customize it, go into the customize tab and click on header. You can see on the left hand side, we have each of the individual elements inside the header, including the heading, button, and average rating. If you wanted to hide any of these elements, you can simply deselect it on the left hand side like this, and it will hide that inside the header of your feed. I'm going to bring back the header, and you can do the same thing for the button on the right hand side, as well as the average rating in the bottom. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, you can simply toggle it off at the top here. Now you can see that the header is hidden inside the live preview. I'm going to bring that back. And if you've made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanted to customize how each individual review is displayed inside your feed, on the left hand side, under the customize tab once again, go into reviews. Next, click on edit individual elements. In this menu, you can see all the different elements inside each review, including the author and date, rating, review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. You can click and choose the exact elements you want to display inside your feed. For example, if I wanted to hide the author and date, I can select it like this, and that will now be hidden inside each review. But if I wanted to bring that back, I can select it like this to bring that back inside my feed. But you now notice that the author and date is sitting at the bottom of each review. This just demonstrates that you can customize the arrangement of the elements inside each review. If I wanted to move the author and date back to the top, I can hover over it like this, click and drag it and place it exactly where I want it to be inside the review. And voila, you can see now that the author and date is back at the top and you can do the same thing with the other elements inside the reviews. For example, if I wanted to move the rating to the bottom, I can click and drag it to the bottom like this. And now you can see the star ratings are at the bottom of the reviews. This way you have complete control to customize the reviews to your exact liking. I'm going to move the rating back to the top underneath author and date. And if you're happy with your changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to choose the exact reviews you want to display inside your feed, Go to the settings tab and click on moderation. Next, if you enable moderation mode, you can select the exact reviews you want to display inside your feed. To do this, you have two different options. The first option is by using the allow list. The allow list hides all the reviews by default apart from the ones you manually choose to display. Alternatively, you have the block list, which displays all your reviews by default apart from the ones you manually choose to hide. With these moderation options, you can choose the exact reviews you want to display inside your reviews feed. But for this demonstration, I'm going to disable it. And if we go back into settings and click on filters, you even have options to filter the reviews you display inside the feed. At the top, you can filter reviews based on their star rating. So if you only wanted to display 5 star reviews, you can enable that here. 
so your feed only displays 5 star reviews. Underneath that you can also add words as filters so your feed will only show or hide reviews containing those words. Lastly at the bottom you could also add a character count filter with minimum and maximum character counts. This will help if you want to display bite sized reviews or longer in depth reviews on your feed. With these filtering and moderation options you have complete control over the type of reviews you want to display inside your feed. And if you added any filters make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Trustpilot reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now inside our WordPress webpage, we have two different options to embed a reviews feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated reviews feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your reviews feed directly inside your WordPress webpage. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are now on our live WordPress webpage and right in the middle we have our brand new Trustpilot reviews feed. This feed is currently showing all the latest reviews for home zone furniture and in the layout that we selected. Inside each review you can find the author and date, star rating, and the review paragraph. And on the right hand side you'll see a Trustpilot logo indicating that the review is from Trustpilot. At the top, inside the header of your reviews feed, you see the average star rating. And on the right hand side we have a write a review button. If site visitors click on that, that will take them directly to the Trustpilot page, making it super easy for them to leave a review for your business directly through your website. And that's how we create an embedded Trustpilot reviews feed on your WordPress webpage. But before we wrap up, let me show you how we can create one for the sidebar or footer of your website. Here we are back inside the plugin and I've just created a second reviews feed for the sidebar of our website. To embed this inside the sidebar, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click add to a widget. And this takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed the Trustpilot reviews inside the main sidebar. To embed it inside the sidebar, we have the same two options as before. We can use the dedicated reviews feed block, or we can use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier, just like this. Once that's done, you can click on update and let's check out what it looks like on the live website. Here we are back on our live WordPress webpage. On the left hand side, we can see that reviews feed we created earlier in the list layout. But now on the right hand side, we have a second Trustpilot reviews feed embedded directly inside the sidebar. And this one is just as fast and responsive as the first one, but this time it's in a carousel template which allows site visitors to swipe through the reviews on your feed like this. So you now know how to create and embed a beautiful and fast Trustpilot reviews feed on your WordPress webpage and inside the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.